Iron Vixel, let's try to just throw out. Okay, so I'll watch this a few times. This is actually the second time I'm going to try and review it because the first one I missed a big thing. Straight out of the back. Check out that left leg, this one right here. It's it's not really opening and getting left. You're kind of just falling back into the throw this way versus getting around and out and down the throw. Don't mind that though. That direction. That's just I want you to be more out versus falling into the throw. So check it out. What's happening right there? Left leg out of the back. Get ready to go. That static wind. Mm. I want you to get away from that static wind. Go back to more of a dynamic start. Get that stretch reflex out of the back. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but look, there's hardly any rotation on your feet. Look at, no, look at this foot. There's hardly any rotation there. All of your, I guess, movement comes from this arm, this leg, and you're kind of coming here. So, let's look at that. Bam, you see? Hardly any movement on that leg. You're just unwinding and you're immediately, if you see it, collapsing down this way. You need to get left with that leg. So what I would say is rotate and just set is that the ball of your foot maybe? I think that's what it's called. Rotate on the ball of your foot. Right here on this one. Use that slow, get out of the back. Reach left with this arm. Really work out. I can't really show you because you didn't put that much space on this side, but you need to be reaching out that way and around. All right. Just falling back into the throw and that's where your throws feel so rushed and you can't really I guess you don't have time to work on them. So it's just rushing into the throw. Boom, and then you start raising. You get all this upward motion. And that comes from right here, straight out of the back. You start raising. You have this problem all over the place in all your events. You just want to open up and go up. I need you to I need you to rotate, I guess, horizontally out of the back. So <clears throat> something more like this follow that plane and I guess follow more of a plane like this you're gonna see how you're gonna rise straight up off it boom you see that right there so work horizontal out to the left driving more with this left arm I would say with this left arm coming something more down or at least not so high that high things really throwing you off moving on jumping out of the back right here get off this leg right here quicker drive down into the center of the ring drive down right here okay since you're coming up you can't drive down fix it Next part, I like the way you hold this position right here. Stay back pretty well. This foot right here, you're going to be more active and bringing it down here. Think what works, what I've been trying to think is just slamming that, slamming this heel, getting this down onto the floor. Um, something you got to be active with. I'm trying to come up with a cue later. Alright. Alright, you start unwinding. This might just be a mobility issue, but also get to that in a bit. Look at your axis right here. From where you land. Yes. Let me see. 
where you land right here, check this axis. Look how bad you shipped off it. Okay, you want to sink down on that axis. Wham, get this foot down as quick as you can. Stay on the axis and start turning into it. Once you do get down and everything, you stay solid on it. This foot really turns into it. And you keep this leg down. I like that. Look at how hard you hit that block. That's great. The thing that's throwing you off, especially on your delivery, you can see it. Uh, you can already see right here it's coming into view. I can't get it slowly. You're pulling off it because you're keeping, I guess this is your right arm. You're keeping it, you're shortening it, you're pulling across. You can see your head back here. You want to be keeping your head back, but you can see it. I think some arrows pointing to it. You want to keep this back, but you're turning into a throw. You need to be more patient. But you shorten your right arm, pull off the disc, get a sloppy throw. I like this aspect, all this, what's going on here. But because you're pulling off it with your head, you're just going to miss it every time. You're going to pull the heck out of it and it's just not going to be a good delivery. So relax, be patient, keep that head back. Other than that, I mean, good throw, work on that stuff. you got some stuff to work on.